Oh yeah, with the little naked fella. With the little naked, 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 naked. He was naked. <laughs> Hey, it's Sue in Megan in the Restricted section. And today we're going to do the five quotes tag. Yes. So we have five quotes from books and other things that we like. Yeah, I don't know if it, the tag specified that it had to be from books, but two of mine aren't. <laughs> Which is cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and we were tagged by Erica from the Perks of Books. Yes. And I believe the original tag was created by Sometimes, Sometimes I, I Read. read. Yeah. Yes. So we'll okay. put both of their videos below. And we're <clears> going <throat> to be drinking today um, this beer from Avery Brewing Company, Lilico. I don't. I'm not even gonna. L I don't know. Lilicoi Cupolo. Sure. I don't know. That's something Hawaiian. It's this. Um, <laughs> and it says tropical and tart. And it is. It is both of those things. Mm -hmm. I kind of dig it. I kind of do too. I'm about it. So, would you like to share your first quote? Sure. My first quote, unsurprisingly, is from Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And the quote I chose is, curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> um, Alice says this several times throughout the book, and I always just loved it. I, I don't know if I say it out loud very often, do I? I definitely <laughs> say it in my head a lot. <laughs> But I guess I say it out loud too. Um, but I don't know, I just love it because it like implies that she's not only thinking this is strange, but also thinking, I want to learn more. I need to know you more. You know? Yeah. So, yeah, I like it. That's pretty much <laughs> that's that's it on that one. <laughs> um, ironically, the, next, the first quote I'm going to read is uh, from Alice by Christina Henry, <laughs> which is a weird twist on that. but. It is, uh, start by holding your head high, Hatcher said. You're only a mouse if you let them make you one. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, really, I just kind of dig, like, people's opinions of us only really matter if we let them. Right. So, it doesn't really, you know, matter at all what someone else thinks of me as long as I don't let it get to me, really. Yeah. Um, my second quote is not from a book. Um, I had a hard time coming up with book quotes because I don't remember quotes from books. I don't either. I, I don't usually look. write them down or anything. To look a few up. Um, but this one's from a song by Queen Adrena, which is one of my favorite bands. And uh, the quote is, The things I plant won't grow, yet the wild weeds flower in wind and snow. And it's from a song called Weeds, which is actually a song that I don't really care for. <laughs> It's a very like slow, mellow song and her vocals are like super high pitched and I don't really like it, but I really like those lyrics. Mm -hmm. But it can be taken either as the thing, I can't get the things I want, but I just keep getting all this other shit that I don't want. Right. And it can be like a negative, which I think is like what it was supposed what to be. Means. Yeah. But I told this quote to my sister and she took a complete opposite. Huh. <laughs> and she was like, well, these aren't the things I want, but they're still great, is okay. how she took it. Because it does say, you know, the wild weeds flower in mm. wind and snow, implying that they're like still beautiful. They're still perhaps. pretty. Perhaps. Right. Was that Stacy that said that? No, it was Tina. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, that made me love the quote even more after she said that nice. because I was like, oh, you know, it can it can be two different things, whichever way you want it to be. So that's really yeah. cool. Unsurprisingly, the next quote that I chose is from 1984. <laughs> no one's surprised. Um, Sanity was statistical. It was merely a question of learning to think as they thought, which I think is interesting because there is definitely this like societal norm. And if you're anywhere like outside of that norm, then you're crazy. You know, so like learning to be sane is really just learning to think as is okay in your society. Mm -hmm. And if you go to a different society, that may or may not be the case. Right. It's just based on kind of where you are. Yeah. Uh, my next quote is from a book that we read recently. Yes. Um, and it's One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey. And um, the quote that I really love from this book is... He knows that you have to laugh at the things that hurt you just to keep yourself in balance, just to keep the world from running you plumb crazy. And, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. laughter is the best medicine. It's the best medicine. <laughs> it is that can be it up. super cliche about it. Right <laughs> but, yeah, I think that's true. I mean, yeah. you have to laugh at yourself. You have to shrug things off sometimes yeah, but... because... If you don't, then you're gonna go crazy. Yeah, the world's gonna yeah. just beat you down, kick your ass. 
And that's one of my biggest pet peeves is people who take themselves too seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, I'm the first one to make fun of myself because <laughs> that's just, you have yeah. to. All right, the next one. Also, no one is surprised here. I had to pick a Harry Potter quote just because I do love Harry Potter so much. I had to pick one from there. Um, and this one is, we've all got both light and dark inside us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. So, and I think that's true. Like there, you know, we all have parts of us that are pretty shitty. And if we, you know, pay more attention to those parts or if we act on those parts, then we become pretty shitty. But if we choose to like give more attention to the parts of us that are positive and productive and healthy, then that's the kind of people we turn into. My next quote is also not from a book. Um, and it might kind of tie into the last quote I said, <laughs> but it is, when I die, I want to die peacefully in my sleep like my grandpa did, not like the screaming passengers in his car. <laughs> and that is a deep thought from Jack from Candy. Candy. <laughs> Which if you don't know who that is, you should uh, look it up. A segment on Saturday Night Live from back in the day was Jack Candy's deep thoughts, and, you should and it was hilarious, <laughs> super funny. But this is one of my favorite ones, which I, <laughs> you know, again, it's just like, I don't take things too seriously. No. I like to laugh. This makes me laugh. And it also is kind of dark, it which is, is like, also right very alley. much my type of humor. <laughs> so it's just one of my favorite things. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Um, the next one I have is kind of a funny quote from a really, like, not funny book. Um, There's nothing like puking with somebody to make you into old friends from The Bell Jar. <laughs> Uh, by Sylvia Plath, which that book is just kind of dark, but I thought that was like a nice little funny moment in the midst of it, and it's true. Yeah. <laughs> you know? It is. All right, and my last quote is from a book called We Die Alone by David Howarth, and it says, If I live, you will live, and if they kill you, I will have died to protect you. And um, this really, it explains the title of the book, I think, because um, I don't think I've ever talked about this book on our channel, but it is one of my favorite books, and it's a true story um, of this man who, during World War II, he was sent into Norway to help train the people there in combat to fight the Nazis. But their ship was discovered before they reached land and was attacked, and he was the only survivor. And so the book is about him trying to make it through Norway on foot into Sweden to escape the Nazis. And he nearly dies several times. Yikes. He should have died <laughs> several times um, on his journey. But because he had so many people, like strangers, mm -hmm. help him along the way, he made it. And um, it was a random book that I chose for a book report. <laughs> in, in high school we got to like choose what book we wanted to read and do a report on. And so I got it thinking that it was going to be this super depressing book because it's called We Die Alone. Right. But it wasn't. It was really <laughs> uplifting That's because really awesome. yeah, the title means like if he had been alone, he would, he have, would died. have died. But he wasn't. And so mm -hmm. I think, you know, I really like that because it's like you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help if right. you need it and you know, it's great to have that support from other people and sometimes Definitely. you need support and that's okay. Yeah. You shouldn't be ashamed of that. No. <laughs> we are all connected. Yes. To each other. Like a cir circle in a hoop that never yes. ends. The last one I have, I have it on my phone. So this one is from Henry David Thoreau from Walden. And it says, I find it wholesome to be alone the greater part of the time. To be in company, even with the best, is soon wearisome and dissipating. I love to be alone. I never found the companion that was so companionable, companionable as solitude. And That's I don't... the opposite of my <laughs> opposite of that one. I don't quite feel as strongly about it as Thoreau seems to. Um, <laughs> but I am... <laughs> I don't know what I did. Yeah, what I don't know what I did. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna not. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but no, I don't feel as strongly about that as Thoreau seems to feel, but I am really introverted, and if I spend time with really more than, like, one or two people that I'm really close to, it is really draining. If it's just one person, like, hanging out with Sue or hanging out with my fiancé, that's not draining to me, but if it's, like, a group of people, even if they're people that I really, really think are awesome, at the end of the night I'm really drained, mm -hmm. and so, just because I'm super introverted, so I do like to be alone, I need my alone time to recharge, and... I always thought I was a weirdo, and so it's nice to yeah. read things. I 
feel the same way, but I'm alone all week. Yeah. Because <laughs> I work from home. <laughs> yeah. So I only see my boyfriend and I don't even see him for that long right. during the day because he sleeps late and works at night. So I see him for like, you know, an hour or two right. every day. So I'm alone all through the week. So on the weekend, I'm like ready to see people. people. And everyone else is like, oh, we've been at work all week. We don't want to <laughs> see anybody. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I feel like that at the end of the day because I literally spend my entire work day listening to people. And so sometimes yeah, at the end of the day, I'm like... I could definitely see that being very <laughs> draining. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could do what you do for a living because I... I can't sit there and listen to people talk about their problems all day and be like, listen. Here's the thing. You need to get your shit together. <laughs> oh, God. I love what I do, but sometimes, man. But no, like I said, like with just one or two close people to me, it's not draining. It's when you get like three or four of them together that I'm like, after a couple hours, I'm like, I'm tired. Right. Like, I love you all, but I'm tired. <laughs> all right. So um, that was our five quotes tag. It was. So we're going to tag um, Capricious Helen in this yes. one. And we're also going to tag the Bookie Babe. Yes. We thought we'd give you an easier tag this time. <laughs> <laughs> Though we thoroughly enjoyed watching you do the last one. Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Now, what are we thinking of this beer? I like this beer. It is really tart. I like it too. It's not my favorite beer I've ever had, but... Mm -mm. But it's it's pretty solid. Yeah. Um, I like the can. <laughs> yeah, the can is really cool. I like that design on there. Yeah. It's pretty nifty. But it is pretty good. It is, like it says, tropical and tart. It's got, it's sweet and tart. Yeah, it at is. At the same time. Yep, and it's got like, there's some spices in there you can tell. Yeah, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not very strongly, I don't think. Mm -mm. No, pretty subtle. Yeah, and it's by, I don't know if we said, but it's by Avery Brewing, which is in Boulder, Colorado. Boulder, Colorado. So Are they breweries the ones? in Colorado. We need to go. We, should, we do. Um, are they the ones who make that like Maristopheles or whatever? I have no idea. There's this beer and it has a demon on the bottle and it's like 16% alcohol by volume. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, and that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it for us. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And you can find us on social media in the description below. Yes. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.